hi so welcome back to my channel um i wanted to do a video on some of my favorite things that i discovered late in 2015 and i wish i would have discovered them sooner but i didn't i discovered them now and i will continue to use them throughout 2016. okay so let's begin with the first item that is just game changing for me um this is the nivea men uh, post shave balm okay now I read and heard that this could be used as a primer and that it really worked so I decided to give it a try the primer I used to use was the Revlon photo ready primer I switched to the Nivea men to try it out and I am in love with this product and it's like six bucks I got it at Target but you only need a little bit so it's gonna last forever okay so that's the first thing it really does work it, it does because like my makeup has been on all day and it hasn't budged okay another thing is the nair hair remover face cream okay so there's no shame in my game i used to remove you know my little peach fuzz, peach fuzz up here um and i used to just do it with the razor and I know people were like, oh, it's going to grow back thicker. That wasn't the case. I didn't, it never grew back thicker. But I just had it, so I would remove it with that. Uh, I decided to buy this, and I bought this, I believe, at Bed Bath & Beyond. And um, I now I do, like, my face area here. And I do my sideburns because I had a lot. And it just changes the way my makeup goes on. It just looks smoother. looks just nicer. Okay, so that's another good one. And... You don't need a lot either, so it will last. Okay, this foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, I I just I love it because it's, it's full coverage. Okay, it I get a lot of redness here, right? I have a lot of freckles, and it does a very good job at covering them up. So I will continue to use it. Like I said, I never really use foundation just because I couldn't find my shade. But I decided to give this one a try, and I was hooked. So I'm going to always use this one. Okay. A couple palettes that I decided to buy online have become my, my favorites. Okay, here is the W7 in the Buff palette. And I got it because they said it was a dupe for the Urban Decay palette. I don't know because I've never had that palette. But I decided to buy this one just to see how it worked. And it was a very good price. And here are all the shades. And they are very pigmented. It's become my, you know, I've, I've used this palette a lot since I've purchased it. So it's a very good palette. It's a lot of, it has one, two, three matte shades only. And the rest are shimmer. They have shimmer in them. Uh, so, but I like this palette a lot, and when I run out, I'm going to get another one. Another palette that I bought online is the Sleek Eye Divine. It's a mineral-based mineral eyeshadow palette, and this is in the color Vintage Romance. I love this palette for special occasions. Um, anything that has to do with glam, I am going to use this palette. The, it's just... It has shimmers, as you can see, reflecting in shimmers. Um, there's only one matte shade in here, and that's fine because I usually use that as a transition color. But it's my, one of my favorite palettes when I want drama in my life, as far as makeup goes. <laughs> okay, so um, then the mascara, I used to use the L'Oreal Mango Rock, I believe. And then... I'm not going to lie, I just wanted this because JLo was on the commercial. And so I got this, the Voluminous Superstar Mascara from, I believe it's from L'Oreal also. And it has the, the primer on one side, right? And I think it has like little fibers that stick to your eyelashes. And then it has the mascara on the other side. Okay, I like the wand. I just like how it applies. It's not chunky. Just, it's. It's a good mascara, so I'm going to always buy it. Um, something that I decided to try using for um, an eye primer, I used to use the, well, I was using the e.l.f. 
primer but I didn't like how it was applying so I kept trying different things um, so then I decided to try the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, for my eyelids and I I liked how it looked I liked how it kept my eyeshadow in place um, it's just it's good as an eye primer I like it better than a concealer because actually when I purchased purchased this um, it was a shade lighter so it was too light for me I so I didn't use it but now I use it as an eye primer very very good I'm gonna buy it again and then for my lips this is my everyday lipstick okay this is the wet and wild mega last and this is in the color pocket full of roses okay and it's a liquid uh lipstick um and you can see that it's just it's very pretty it's you know kind of pink mauve and it lasts all day uh it's just it's good for an everyday lipstick when i don't want something that's too red or too pink this is my go-to okay i never used a setting spray before because i just never did um but then I brought the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and I like it. And it does make a difference. I didn't think it did, but it does, so I'm going to keep on buying that and keep using it. The e.l.f. products are really inexpensive. Um, I find Target has a wide variety of e.l.f. things. Also, Bed Bed & Beyond. Okay, so speaking of e.l.f., let me talk about these three brushes from e.l.f. that I just love and I use every day and I just got them like I said I discovered these brushes I'm gonna see the beginning of December when I was doing Christmas shopping and I'm like let me pick up a couple of things for myself right since I'm buying we're buying all these gifts me and my husband I'm like let, let me just pick up a couple of things so this is the e.l.f. Um, blending eye brush and I like because it's it's so soft okay and it blends very very easily then this is the fan brush. Um, I've seen girls put their highlighter on with this, and I was just like, why? I, I don't. I I just never bothered to buy one, but it does make a difference when you're applying that highlighter. Just like, yes, I should have gotten that brush a long time ago. And then also the bronzing brush. I like it because it's thin, okay, and it allows me to really get into that area where I want to darken and it's soft the elf brushes are so soft and like I said they're very inexpensive so I mean most of the brushes are a dollar and I think the most I've seen the brushes is three dollars I think this fan brush was three dollars but everyone everything else is a dollar now the equal tools is another brush that I like a little bit more expensive than the elf because they're like organic and they're all they're green and it's equal tools um, so, but my favorite blush brush, and I have a couple, I always go back to the Equal Tools uh, blush brush. It's so soft. It just, I love how it feels when I apply blush. And also, this was a gift. I got this for Christmas. It was in one of the brush sets. And this is the blend side, and then it has the smudge side. Um, and I just, I love the blending one, and then the smudge one, I use it for my lower lash line. So they're very good brushes, and like I said, both drugstore brushes um, don't have to spend a lot for brushes um, for them to be good. Okay, so one of the other palettes I got, the last one that I'm going to talk about, is the Profusion Highlight Palette. I got this at the 5 Below, and I love it because it gives me a lot of options. I don't know if you can see the colors very good. Um, there's a lot of options for the highlights, so... This is the only highlight palette that I've been using. I had an e.l.f. highlighter and I didn't like it because it didn't really go on as good as this one. So yeah, those are my favorite things that I discovered late in 2015. Oh, one more thing. Oh my God, I forgot. I love bed, no, Bath and Body Works. But I used to always see this cream and body wash and I never purchased it even though I, I love ginger. I, I don't know why I never got it. Um, but I got this as a gift for Christmas. It's the Orange Ginger Body Cream. It smells amazing. It boosts your energy. It says orange and ginger oils are uplifting to release tension and sharpen the senses. Guys, and it leaves your hands so soft. It smells amazing. 
I regret not buying it before and I've seen it there, but I usually go towards Old Joyful and things like that. But now I'm going to go to that one. Okay. So those are my favorite things that I discovered late last year that I'm going to continue to use in 2016. And yeah, if there's anything else, I'll let you guys know. So let me know if you guys have any of these things and if you like them, if they're your go-tos, and if you've tried any of them. So until next time, bye.